Howdy ho, all y'all. Today I am going to tell you everything that I know about generators. So it'll be a very short video. <laughs> Okay, hello, boys and girls. <laughs> uh, this is my generator. Um, I am starting to think about um, the undercarriage. <laughs> I'm starting to think about where my gray water tank is going to go um, and where everything else underneath is going to go. I already had a general idea. I already removed those um, heaters from underneath to free up lots of space. But my generator, this is my generator. It is a Sportsman dual fuel uh, 3500 watt generator. Uh, I'll tell you why I chose it in a bit. But I chose a generator that's not super lightweight and portable. Um, it is portable, but it could be more portable. So I am wanting to mount it somewhat permanently underneath of Earl. Uh, so I want to get it out. I haven't had it out yet. I briefly looked at it, but I want to get it out. I want to get it running. I want to see where the pull is for the start, and I want to get a sense of where I can mount it underneath, if I can mount it underneath. So let's get this thing open out of the box and take a look at it, all right? <laughs> So in case you were wondering how little I know about generators, I actually know a decent amount. I've done a lot of research, but uh, first thing I opened the box, pulled out the instructions and uh, I need to add oil. I guess that's something I should have known. We gotta go to town by oil. Okay guys, so let's multitask while we're driving, okay? Uh, how do you choose a generator? Or how did I choose a generator? Well. There were a lot of factors. The number one thing was, uh, for me, was that I really wanted a dual fuel generator. So that means that my generator runs off of either gasoline or propane. I love the option of, of having both. I will probably use gasoline more often. Um, there are, you know, every fuel is for everyone. There's the right fuel for everyone. Um, you know, gasoline does not stay fresh and good as long as propane. Propane stays usable, probably not indefinitely, but a long time. I mean, you can use propane, you know, once a year and it's, it's going to be fine out of the tank, where that's not the case with gasoline. So I just really love the option of it being dual fuel. Secondly, um, I really wanted a generator with a higher power output. So mine has a... Uh, peak of 4,000 watts and a running wattage of 3,500. Uh, so that's a little bigger than a lot of the smaller portable RV generators. One thing that I did not prioritize is uh, the noise. My generator is not going to be one of the more quiet generators. Why did I not prioritize that? Well, I didn't prioritize that because I don't intend to spend time in very many um, places with people. Sorry, I'm on a gravel road and I'm meeting another car. I did the farmer wave. <laughs> it's in one finger. Uh, I don't plan to be around a lot of people and I don't plan to be in places where noise is as big of a concern. It is very rude to power up your generator um, at odd hours in an RV park. And so noise is a major concern. It should be a major concern for a lot of people. Um, not as much for me. Mine is not like super loud, um, but it's, it's not the quietest. Okay, I am at the auto parts store. I'm probably going to have to ask for help because I have no idea. I don't know anything about oil. <laughs> I feel like that's something that like an adult 35 year old man should don't. So we'll figure it out. Okay, that was actually really easy and he was really helpful and I did not make a fool of myself. <laughs> I don't think. Well, Jeffrey, do I even need a generator? 
Sorry, I'm eating radishes. <laughs> I should stop. Um, do you even need a generator? Yeah, probably. Um, it depends on your your power setup. If you are powered by solar, um, you don't have to. But I have am I have not yet wired my solar system. My solar system is wired. I haven't wired this component yet. Um, to have an automatic switch. So if I turn my generator on and plug it into my uh, solar system, it will charge my battery bank for me uh, and then automatically cut it off once the batteries are, are full. Um, so I, you know, overdid my solar system, so it shouldn't be a problem. But if I ever use an insane amount of power, I can pop on my generator and charge my battery bank up, back up. Um, so that is the primary reason why I wanted it. Um, that's it. I also have not decided on the air conditioner situation. I do not know if I'm going to have an air conditioner or not. I don't want to spend a lot of time in super, super hot places, but maybe I want the option. Um, I still have not settled on an air conditioner solution, but one thing I do know is that I cannot run my air conditioner, any air conditioner, off of my uh, deep cycle uh, batteries. Uh, if they were lithium, I could, but they're not. Um, lithium batteries are crazy expensive. Super worth it, but super expensive. Like, really, really. Oh no, there's a dog. Hey, bud. It's on a busy road. Um, <laughs> uh, what was I talking about? <laughs> Oh, uh, air conditioner. I will either need to be plugged into shore power in an RV park or in some outlet to use an air conditioner, or I would need to have the generator running, which it's not practical to run a generator all day. But if it was just hot enough that I needed to run the air conditioner maybe for two, or three, four hours during the hottest part of the day just to, then just to cool it off at night, that's plausible. That that's, makes a little bit more sense. Okay, I am back home, so let's get some oil in this bad boy. Get this fired up. I'm quickly losing light. Sunset is approaching. So, uh, let's figure this out. I think it's ready for me to start. <laughs> um, it's going to be really loud, so you're not going to be able to hear me. So, uh, um, wish me luck. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, can I turn it on? We are set to gasoline. The choke is closed. All right. Okay, so wow, uh, two things. Number one, really easy to start. It was just like, Phew, and I'm not good with those, you know, <laughs> those things, those whatever you call that, full start. Um, the other thing is it's not that loud. Um, I don't know if you can really hear, but it's not, it's not that loud. That's awesome. Um, so it has to run for five minutes, I guess, before you should plug your electronical electronical <laughs> you have to let it run for five minutes before you plug any electronical devices into it I think just to make sure that it has leveled out and that there's no fluctuation in the voltage or wattage or whatever it is the energy output so let's give this five minutes and then uh, I brought a little box fan out I just want to plug something into it see that power happens I know it will but um, awesome this is great I'm going to real quickly see if I can find an app that measures how many decibels of sound are coming out of it. 
because um, I'd love to know so that I could compare it to others because it is way quieter than I expected it to be. Okay, it has been five minutes. I am going to uh, plug this fan in. Awesome. And I also did a little research. I did download a decibel meter app and uh, it's like, it's okay. It's not, it's not crazy. It definitely doesn't sound super offensive when it's running. Um, standing right over it, it was at 87 decibels, which is definitely not the quietest generator, but it is, uh, it is not terrible. <laughs> it could be louder. Um, the thing is it's heavy. This is a heavy generator. So I think Finding a way to undermount it underneath the the bus is definitely going to be the way to go. So I'm glad I got this out so that I know that now and I can start planning for that. Hey guys, don't forget what happens December 30th, uh, my YouTube Live. I will be with my buddy, uh, Shanna Shrum, comedian extraordinaire, um, uh, 8 p.m. Central, 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern. Uh, 7 <laughs> p.m. Mountain. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why I chose that order to list those in, <laughs> but uh, join us. It's gonna be real fun, real, real fun. Oh, hi. I couldn't help but overhear you saying how desperate you were to watch more YouTube videos. Well, you can subscribe here. You won't miss a thing. Or watch my film. Once is enough. Right here. Or just click here. Watch another video.